In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can buy and sell cryptocurrency on Uniswap or any decentralized exchanges without your funds leaving your hardware wallet. For that, we'll need this wallet called MetaMask. This will be our bridge between the hardware wallet and the decentralized exchange. I have a warning here, always be sure to be on this website metamask.io and only download the MetaMask application from here because there are a lot of scams out there. You can only be safe by downloading from the official website which is this one and you can see if I click download now you can download it for Chrome, Firefox, Brave and Edge. Even if you are on your phone be sure to come to this website first then click on the button right here and you'll be sure that you download the right application from the start. But you don't really need to use the wallet itself only to create a bridge between the ledger wallet and the decentralized exchange. I usually use Brave but I already have it set up there. So in this case, I'm going to use Edge and show you how you can use this browser extension because this MetaMask wallet is actually a browser extension. And after you click this button, the extension will install. And when the browser extension is installed, this icon will show up right here and you'll have to click it. This page will show up, you click get started. You can select to import another wallet if you want to, but this is not required for what we're trying to achieve. We can just create a new wallet. We're not actually going to use this wallet, but it's still a good idea to have a backup of this one. So be sure to read all the information that is provided here. I click on I agree. Then I'll create a password for my wallet. This is the password that I'll use to access the wallet in my browser because I don't want everyone to be able to just open my browser and have access to my wallet. I agree with the terms of use and I click create. And of course, I have to create a backup of my seed phrase. Take a pen and paper, write these words down and be sure to keep them safe because this is the only way you can restore the access to your wallet in case something happens with your device. I'm going to click on next. And this is how you confirm that you have the right backup phrase. You just click on the words in the correct order. And now I click confirm. Always read these tips on how to store your backup phrase safely. And after you're done, click on all done and this is my new metamask wallet now i can use this wallet as a normal wallet but like i said in the beginning i want to connect it with the ledger device so if i go to the uniswap website now i can click on connect the wallet here i click on metamask it will open a pop-up information that asks for permission to connect to my metamask wallet i'm going to click on next and i give it access to my address i click connect and now you can see that my wallet is here that ends in 0251 and is the same as here. Now that my MetaMask wallet is connected with Uniswap, let's bring the Ledger device into play. I'm going to click on the MetaMask extension and here I'm going to click on this avatar right here and then connect the hardware wallet. Now I'm going to select Ledger. Of course, you'll select Trezor if you have that. And I'm going to select Connect. At this point, make sure that you have your hardware wallet connected to your computer and in the Ethereum application. Make sure you enter the Ethereum application on your hardware wallet. After you connected your device and enter the Ethereum application, MetaMask will look for your Ethereum addresses and find the ones that are used by the device. So usually I select here Ledger Live and from the list I'm going to select the wallet that I want to use on Uniswap. So let's say I'm going to use this one and I'll click Unlock. And now you can see that my MetaMask wallet has access to my coins on the Ledger device. And if I click on the avatar here, I have my initial account that I created. This is the one I created the seed phrase before, the one ending in 0251. But now you also have access to your Ledger wallet. And of course you can connect multiple accounts here if you want. You can create another wallet if you want to. You can import another one. And if I go on the Uniswap website and I click here where it says the address, you can see right now that it's connected to the initial MetaMask address ending in 0251. But to switch to your Ledger wallet, you'll have to click on the icon of MetaMask and then click on the avatar, select Ledger wallet. Be sure to connect your Uniswap application to Ledger by clicking connect right here. And right now you can see the address changed. This is my Ledger address and you can see the balance right here. And I can change my Ethereum to let's say engine coin. I can buy Mori Engine coin with my Ethereum or of course any other cryptocurrency that's available on Uniswap. If you want me to create a guide about Uniswap or a more in-depth guide about MetaMask, be sure to let me know in the comment section below and I'll take your suggestions in consideration for my next video. Until then, if you wonder how you can sell your cryptocurrency for money in your bank account, be sure to check the video that I put on the screen right now to see how you can turn your cryptocurrency into cash. I'll see you there.